Hey guys, so I have a haul for you guys that I have uh, accumulated over a couple of months, um, March and April. It's a big one, so you might want to grab a drink, a snack, and I'm just going to get right into it. The first thing I'm going to start with is my Makeup Revolution haul, which I'm really excited for. I've never actually ordered off of the uh, Makeup Revolution website or Revolution Beauty, however you want to say it. I am really happy with the stuff that I got and everything arrived perfect. I also ordered some Makeup Revolution stuff from Ulta, so I'm going to do the whole Makeup Revolution stuff together, even the ones from Ulta. So. The ones that I bought from the actual website, I'm going to show first. And I'm going to start off with the face stuff, if it will cooperate. First thing that I picked up is the Angel Heart little heart box thing. And it's really pretty. I've already used it before. I use, I technically use this side and I use this side of the blush, but it is really pretty especially on this side it's the perfect pinky peach I'm trying to figure out where to look in this oh that's really pretty especially when you like blend everything in gives you this really pretty wet sheen and we have something that I've been wanting for a while which is the mermaid's heart it totally matches my monochromatic look going on very pretty i'm not going to swatch everything because it's this will take forever dragon's hearts really nice i have used this as a blush before and i'm dying to use this as an eyeshadow or even like an inner corner highlight all right so we can get those out of the way Next are the palettes, which I am, I've been wanting these palettes for a while, and I've already used one of them, but I'm going to start off with the Galactic eyeshadow palette, and this is what it looks like. Mm, I'm really excited for all these marble shades. So pretty. And then we have Cotton Candy, which is the pink one. Very pretty shades. The only thing about these though is that they have a ton of brown mattes in them and I do have to find myself pulling different palettes, pulling out different palettes, but that never bothers me because I use multiple palettes every day anyways. And this one is the Lemon Drizzle and this one is just your warm colors. I've been really into like oranges and yellows lately. I say as I'm wearing blue eyeshadow right now. <laughs> this is the one that I have used. This is the macarons. This totally matches my aesthetic going on. Very, very nice. Very pretty. I have used these two shades and a couple of the browns. I love this one. But from the actual Ulta store, I got the Sophie Extra Spice. Very glary, sorry. And I have used this a couple of times. It is a little bit patchy, but it's really, really nice. Now on to more face stuff from uh, Ulta. I did pick up the Chocolate Elixir Glow. And it's this really pretty like pink and silver. And then we have the rose gold glow. And these are really cute too because you can travel with them. They're a little bit too dark for me, but um, I use this as like a blush topper. I hate using that word, but it's a blush topper, I guess. And then my favorite one is the peach and glow. Oh, this even matches my whole blue look thing going on so pretty i just love this blush and these highlights so freaking pretty all right i think that's it for the makeup revolution um 
Next, let's go to Too Faced. I did pick up the Natural Lust Bronzer. We do have the eyeshadow palette, but that's my mom's, and I didn't want to go all the way up and get it because it's not mine, and I'm not that excited about it. I just wanted one thing from the collection because of the peacock. Oh, that's so pretty. I have used it before. Not today. I'm using something completely different. But I have used this, and the highlighter is gorgeous. I can actually wear it, and the bronzer is perfect for my skin. I hate using it, though, because it's so pretty. The next thing I got is from Smashbox. I got the crystallized highlighter. I like it. I'm wearing a little bit of it today, but over it I have um, ColourPop's Earthshine eyeshadow. And it actually looks really pretty because this is mostly just glitter, so I would definitely layer it over something. But I just had to pick it up because it's so pretty. Next thing I got um, over March and April, I think I got this in March. I'm not sure when this came out, but I have been loving on this. As you can probably tell, there's a few dents in it. Um... I just love this eyeshadow palette. I love the purple and the pinks and these over here. Of course, like everyone else though, I do wish that there was a matte blue because it would make so much sense. But there's not, so I'm not going to complain. You know what, let's go to the NYX stuff that I have. I do have their glitter goals. The writing is so like small, you can't even see it. But this one is like a purple, black, pink. And this one is like a reddish purple. And this one is a black base with silver and a little bit of hint of purple I see in there. But I really do like these, they wear really nice. But let's just go on to Jeffree Star. You all have seen the Blue Blood palette by now. I even did um, a little tutorial on this guy and I'll just show you again. It opens up like this. It does smell like rubber because of the packaging, but I just love this. Oh, and I'm not wearing this, surprisingly. I'm not wearing this. I am wearing Titanic which I also got his lip bundle, but I'm not gonna show you that because they're already like set up in their little display. But um, as you can see, I have been using this quite a bit and I really, really love it. I just love his formula and ugh, I just love his formula. And then we have a couple of his um, liquid frosts that I purchased with the collection. I have Frostitute and Michigan Ice. This is Frostitute and this is Michigan Ice. Michigan Ice is a little bit dark on me so I lightly tap it over um, Space Baby from Oprah. Ofra, not Oprah. Ofra. Um, so I just tap it over um, Space Baby. Um, this one is perfect for my skin tone. The only, I'm just trying to learn um, using cream highlighters because I'm not really a big fan of cream highlighters. So I am trying to work with this and see how I can make it work for my skin. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I like them. I just need to figure out how to use them better. So I've been trying to watch videos on that. All right, now let's get into the ColourPop stuff. Um, I'm going to show you some from the Villains, the Villains collection. Starting off with the Jelly Munch shades, I have Spindle. Oh, this is so freaking pretty. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's so pretty. Loving these. I've worn them a couple of times and I just love how they go on the eyes and they really do stay on my eyelids. And I have Just Your Voice. Oh my gosh, this color is, ugh. it is to die for. Ugh. This is like a duochrome shade that shifts like blue, green, purple. It's just so pretty. 
I love this shade. This is my favorite shade. So if you want these, I would get them before they go on the sale in the sale section. Because you know when stuff goes in the sale section, that means we're going bye bye. I would definitely pick the, if you're going to just get one, get just your voice. It's so pretty on the lid. And then I finally picked up one of their Glitterly Obsessed Glitters. No, they're glitters, really? They're called Glitterly Obsessed for a reason. Okay, open. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. And on the eyes, like... So pretty. Of course, they always say use glitter with caution. Um, I'm wearing glitter today. I'm not wearing this though. They do say use glitter with caution. I always tell people that if you don't, if you're not comfortable wearing glitter, then just don't wear glitter. But don't come at me for wearing glitter. I know that glitter is technically not eye safe. Just letting you guys know that right now, so that no one comes at me. For glitter is not safe for your eyes. I know that. I wear it because I wear glitter all the time, so I'm pretty careful. And this one is Anomaly. Wait, did I tell you guys the other one? And um, this one is called Do I Look Like I Care? And this one is called Anomaly. This one's like a silvery blue with like rainbow multi glitter. And Bretman collection. This one is called I'm Wet. Oh my god, I'm Wet. That's what it's called. OMG, I'm Wet. This is the blue one. And if I can open. This one, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has little like star chunks in them. Or in this one, it has little star chunks. And I have been using that one. I've used that one a couple of times already. This one is the She Lit. She Lit. Come on. I have not used this one yet. Because I've been too much into cool tone colors. But this one is really pretty and I can't wait to use it. It's like a red with green, gold, orange. Recently picked up um, their new eyeliners. I got one in Crybaby, and I got another one in Zulu. I really want to get more. I want to get the um, the like bright neon colors. I just haven't placed an order for those yet, but I really wanted to try Zulu, and I am wearing it underneath the lower lash line. These are really nice. So, and I have a story, a little bit of a story to tell you guys with this order. So I placed a Build Your Own Palette order for the 24 eyeshadows and placed my order. I was waiting for it patiently because it doesn't take that long with ColourPop for me to get here. So I just expect it to get here when it gets here. So it was supposed to get here on Wednesday. But I got here yesterday. So on Wednesday, I go, um, I got an email saying that it was delivered. And so I went to the mailbox and I got the key to open the bottom mail to get my mail out. And it was empty. I was kind of freaking out a little bit. I was like, okay, why is the box empty? It says that it's here. It should not be empty. So I was kind of freaking out, you know, expecting the worst. Like, oh my God, the mail person stole my package. Somebody stole my package. It's supposed to be here. Like, why is it being here? Why isn't it here? So I was like doing that. I was freaking out. I even stood there like looking way into the mailbox, like way deep, deep into the mailbox. Like, is it way in the back? Is it underneath the mailbox for some reason? I was like looking everywhere for it. And the people behind me waiting to get their mail was probably like, what is this person doing? But it wasn't stolen or anything. The mail person just gave me the wrong key number. So that's what it was. But I was very, very grateful that it's here and safe. And I was like, okay, 
that was, even though it was on sale, that was still a pretty big order from ColourPop. And I mean, that was around $60 because I ordered the um, two eyeliners and taxes and everything. But yeah, so let's get into the eyeshadow palette. Um, I really like how it kind of matches my nails. These are the colors. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm wearing those two shades and these two shades right here. These are so pretty. I could swatch some for you guys, but I'm gonna do a separate video on this entire palette. So that is everything that I also purchased from Jeffree Star his um, sugar scrubs. I got the one in vanilla mint and pancakes and syrup and these smell delicious. But anyway, yeah, that is it. That is the haul for you guys of the couple of months. I didn't get this all in once. Um, it did take me a while to purchase everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.